I'm David Davidson, and I spend most of my time reviewing average riders and advanced riders from from the civilian population. And today we're going to take a look at Loic Bruni's winning run, and I'm going to point out the three indicators of why Loic is an elite, world-class athlete. So let's go. And for those of you that don't know, I think he won the race. All right, so first indicator of just raw, crazy athleticism here is the angle of the torso. The angle of his torso doesn't necessarily change pitch. So if you look at his spine, it's not tipping forward when the trail goes down by the shoulders first and then the hips following. What happens is he, he lowers his entire body, and you can see this mainly when he's pumping, like right here. His torso, the angle doesn't change. The reason why this is important is it allows him to row with his arms and it allows him to expand and contract everything below the hips like suspension. And this is the first reason why I believe that Loic won the race. It's just simply because he seems to be the best in the world. And again, I'd, I'd put Lucas Shaw up there with him as well, just quiet riders. And this comes from an incredibly strong and mobile core. Yeah, so you can even see a little bob right there where the shoulders pitch down faster than the than the lower body. It's even there we go. Look at that. Crazy. So what one of one of the side benefits of having an exceptionally strong core and then articulating the arms and the legs like suspension under it is that the head stays very still. And so when we're watching a rider like Loic, it's obviously fun to watch. But this is something that you can emulate by spending your time building your core working on pump tracks, working on pumping rocks and roots, and you can actually get a very still head. Um, and it's a lot of fun because everything stays still up here, you feel smooth, and your hands and your feet will move quickly. Taking a couple inside lines there, interesting. What you're going to notice as well is watch how quickly his hands and his feet move. This is something not a lot of people talk about. When you're mountain biking, one of the most important things is to be able to you know, move with the trail. If we can move with the trail and the body stays still, we become proactive and the suspension becomes reactive. Most riders do it the other way around. The, uh, the hands and the feet slash slam into stuff because we're not the one leading the bike and uh, all that power and force gets transferred up into the body and we get bounced around oh i can't imagine the g-forces on that it's crazy Now this part, just, you got to hang on for your life and be good at jumping. <laughs> One thing that's really interesting is looking at the heart rate, 165. I mean, mine would be like 190 <laughs> at this point. This is probably the most not talked about part for these guys. Yeah, congrats, Loic. That's awesome. One of the most not talked about parts with these kind of races is these guys just have an absolute motor. Um, if we put them in another sport and told them to go, <laughs> they would outrun all of us. And these guys just have an insane level of cardiovascular fitness, and they build on top of that a really, really strong 
uh, body and a mobile body. So actually there's one part I wanted to go back and look at real quick and it's right about here at the beginning and we want to talk about hip mobility so let's kind of go through that real fast. When it comes to hip mobility just watching how he has power to explode out and pedal and then right about 10 seconds from here. Right here. Just, okay. Everyone probably talks about how great his suspension is and his suspension is fantastic. I do believe that they're, they're doing some magic over there at Olin's and, and specialized at the same time. He still would win the race, even if his suspension was not quite as perfect. And here's why. Let's take a look. Let's watch it in slow motion. Right here. Look at that. His timing is absolutely perfect, and his hands and his feet move extremely quickly out of the way while the rocks and the roots just chunk up into the tires. And you can actually see that his legs are taking quite a bit of that force. You just don't notice it because, see, right there, when his knees come up to his chest, right there as well. If the camera wasn't shaking so much, then it would be even smoother. The fact of the matter is that Loic Bruni has probably some of the strongest and most articulated muscles in the entire world of mountain biking. And that is why he's able to take these hits and translate them into just an absorption. So that's the number one tip I'll give you guys. Work on your core, get out there, have fun. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, click the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.